I start off with the basic cracky method. But what do you do when the plant uses up all the nutrient solution? Well, you could transplant it into a larger reservoir. You could harvest it. You could put it in soil. Or you could uh, add a little bit of nutrient solution to the container each day and open it up and check it. And it's, it's a pain in the neck. So here's what I do. I remove the clear reservoir from the shielded container. I remove the lid and net cup from the clear reservoir and I place the whole assembly into the shielded container which has about eight holes around the very base. Here are the plants on the day I removed them from the clear reservoir and put them in the protective container. At the same time I chop their roots off equal with the base of the container. They were able to suck all the nutrient they needed through the stumps that remained. Ten days later and the plants are doing fine. New roots have begun growing from the stumps of the roots where they were chopped and they are circling around the base of the container similar to a plant in soil when it gets root bound. Another 10 days and the plants are getting thick. I think they really appreciate having that large humidity chamber where their oxygen roots can thrive. This system might offer the hydroponic novice or student an easy way to keep their roots protected from sunlight and algae while giving them easy access to look at them as they're interacting with the nutrient solution. If you were wondering why the plants don't blow over, I installed small magnets in the rims and will probably also put magnets in the bases and the trays. What did I learn from this experiment? Well, I saw that Plants can uh, thrive fairly well without a lot of water roots as long as they have adequate oxygen roots. I found that my system, although it might be elegant, simple to use, and productive, it is extremely difficult to make. So I looked for another way. Could I do without the net cup or the foam collar? or the lid itself, or the bottom of the container? Well, and here's what I'm doing. So, next we will see if this Pak Joy can grow in these ridiculous conditions. Thanks for looking. Adios.